We all know that cybersecurity threats are increasing by the day. Organizations will need to get improved visibility. They will need to ingest more sources of information, more types of data, and be able to manage that information to get the right kind of visibility and to be able to do the right kind of threat detection. Once you have all of this data and the volumes of data, you run the risk of being um, burdened by SOC fatigue, by alert fatigue. So to prevent that, automation and orchestration is going to be the key uh, thing for uh, organizations. Unless organizations implement a strong automation and orchestration solution in place, the sheer volume of data is going to overwhelm the SOC analysts and um, it's going to in fact uh, be counterproductive and uh, in terms of being able to respond to incidents on in time is, is going to go down. Third one is more of a model of thinking. So while the SOC does most of the monitoring um, of the assets in-house, Organizations will also start to look and take an outside-in approach. And by that we mean um, taking an approach in terms of identifying what assets are lying outside the organization's perimeter, what assets are uh, unknown to the CIO and the CISO. And also in terms of identifying um, on the dark web and deep web, what are the different uh, breaches, different attacks that have already happened on that organization. And probably what are the threat actors talking about that uh, business or that organization in that particular dark web or deep web forums. Then the fourth one is again a model or a way of thinking and uh, this is something which uh, has uh, come to light recently uh, which is a zero trust model. So it again uh, boils down from the fact that um, the uh, one has to accept that you are uh, going to get breached. So if you are going to get breached, uh, it is better that you don't trust anyone. So solutions that help implement um, zero trust uh, will, will catch up traction in the calendar year 2020. And that's where um, organizations will stop believing the uh, end user asset and start uh, believing the control of that particular user itself. And finally, for all of this to happen, whether it is zero trust, automation, um, uh, in enhanced visibility and others, one needs to make sure that they have good MSS uh, service provider in place. Typically cloud-based MSS service providers, platform-based services are what we see gaining traction further in the next uh, calendar year. Uh, mainly because uh, these are able to provide shared services, these are able to collaborate better within the network. Um, within the organization and outside um, the organization. And so these are the ones that customers um, will be looking forward to.